The FTSE All Share was trading in positive territory today, boosted by a rise among insurers, airlines and miners. The biggest blue chip riser was Legal and General Group, boosted by a strong set of half-year results. Operating profits from company divisions grew 13% to £1.27 million, up from £1.128 million a year earlier. The Japanese automaker Toyota has posted a record $8.2 billion profit for the first quarter of the fiscal year, despite an ongoing shortage of semiconductors and the rising costs of materials. The profit is five times higher than the figure reported during the same period last year. The world's biggest automaker by vehicle sales left its forecast for the current fiscal year unchanged for an operating profit of $22.93 billion dollars warning that the global chip shortage and rising COVID-19 cases were weighing on their outlooks. Shares fell 2%. Q2 sales for the German fashion house Hugo Boss have returned to pre-pandemic levels in Britain and China. The company, famous for its smart men's suits, reported an acceleration in sales of casual styles and formal wear due to pent-up demand for business and party fashion. Sales in the United Kingdom are up 7% compared to the same period in 2019 and up 33% in mainland China. The company says they expect currency-adjusted group sales for the 2021 fiscal year to increase by between 30 and 35 percent. Shares were up 1.2 percent in early morning trading. Sports Direct boss Mike Ashley is to step down as chief executive of his retail empire. The billionaire tycoon has been one of British retail's most controversial characters since founding Sports Direct 40 years ago. It's been reported that he will become the deputy chairman of the FTSE 250 group and will hand control of Fraser's groups to his prospective son-in-law, 31-year-old Michael Murray. Fraser's group owns several British retail brands, including Evan Cycles, Game, Jack Wills, Flannels and House of Fraser. Ashley is also the owner of Newcastle Football Club. An official announcement is expected on Thursday. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.